Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Working with Remote Repositories. In this tutorial, we will learn what is Remote Repository and how to synchronize data to the Remote Repository. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04, Git 2.3.2, Gedit Text Editor and Firefox Web Browser. You can use any editor and web browser of your choice. For this tutorial, you will need a working internet connection. You should also have knowledge of basics of Git commands. If not, for relevant Git tutorials, please visit the link shown. First, let us understand what is a remote repository. A repository which is hosted on the internet or any network is called remote repository. Using this centralized repository, people can collaborate on a project from anywhere in the world at any time. Say, for example, there are three users who want to work jointly in the same repository. Git allows them to take a copy of the remote repository into their local system. This will be done using clone command. Then they can work offline with the local repository. Once the work is satisfied, they have to synchronize it back to the main repository. This will be done using push and pull commands. You will understand the full process at the end of this tutorial. First, we will open our GitHub repository which we created earlier. In the right side, we can see the URL of this repository. Let's copy this URL. We are going to make a copy of this repository using the URL to create a local repository. Let's open the terminal. Let us understand now how two users can work in the same remote repository. For this, I have already created two directories named user1 and user2 on my desktop. Please do so on your desktop also. In the same terminal, I will open the directories in two different tabs. In the first tab, type cd space user1. To open second tab, click on file menu and select open tab. In the second tab, type cd user2. Let us go to the tab user1. Now let us make a copy of the remote repository. Type git space clone and then paste the copied URL. Space type a dot at the end of this command. Dot indicates that we are going to copy the repository inside the same directory that is user1. Otherwise, it will create a new directory with the repository name as stories. Now press enter. The clone command will copy the whole central folder and make it as a local repository. Type ls. You can see that the content of the remote repository is copied here. Next, I will change the username and email ID of this repository for better understanding. I have already created two more GitHub users, Priya Spoken 1 and Kaushik Spoken for demonstration purpose. I will use them here. Let us check the Git log. You can see the same commits of the remote repository. Likewise, I will clone the repository inside the directory user2 in the second tab. Here also I will change the username and email id as I did earlier for user1. Next, let us understand how these users will work in the remote repository. Let's say user1 will be working on a file named lionandmouse.html To create the file, type gedit lionandmouse.html I will copy and paste some text into this file 
from my writer document which I had saved earlier. Likewise, you can add some content into your file. Let's add the file into the staging area. Type git add line and mouse .html. Next, let us commit the newly added file. Type git commit -m within quotes added lion and mouse .html. Next, we have to synchronize the local repository with the main remote repository. Before synchronizing the repository, we will learn about remotes. The URL of a remote repository is called remote. We can give a nickname to the URL. It will be useful when we work on many remote repositories. When we synchronize the repository, we can simply use the nickname instead of typing the full URL. The default nickname of a remote is always origin. Now, let us learn how to add a remote. Switch back to our terminal. Type git remote. You can see that the default remote name is origin. Next, let us see how to add a nickname to the remote. Type git remote add stories and type the URL of the remote repository. Here, I will name the remote as stories, that is the remote repository name. Now, press enter key. Again, to check the remote list, type git remote. You can see that the remote is added to the list. Now, we will synchronize the local repository with the main remote repository. To do so, type git push stories master. Here, stories is the remote name and master is the branch where we update the changes. Now, press enter. I will type priya spoken one as username of user one and press enter. Type the corresponding password of user one. Recall that I created this username earlier for demonstration purpose. Please use your username and password here. It throws an error, unable to access. Why did this error occur? This is because we don't have access to the remote repository. So now let us learn how to give access permission to the contributors. Switch back to GitHub repository. Click on the Lost tab settings in the top panel. Then click on Collaborators link in the left side box. Type your GitHub account password for confirmation. Here in the text box, we can add the names of the collaborators. Understand that anyone can clone this GitHub repository. But the people who we add as collaborator can push to the repository. Now I will add the two users Priya Spoken 1 and Kaushik Spoken. You can see that the username is listed when I type in the text box. Click on Add Collaborator button to add the user as collaborator. I will also add the other user Kaushik Spoken. You can see here the added names are listed. Now we will try to push into the remote repository. Switch back to terminal. Type git push stories master. Give the username and password of the user who has the access to the repository. You can see that we have pushed it successfully. Next, let us check the GitHub repository to see whether our changes are updated. Switch back to the GitHub repository. Click on the code tab. Let's check the commit list. You can see that the commit of the collaborator is listed here. Next, let us learn how user2 can collaborate with the remote repository. Switch back to the terminal. Let's say user2 is working on a file named friends.html. To create the file, type gedit friends.html. I will copy and paste some text into this file from my writer document. Likewise, you can add some content into your file. 
let's add the file into the staging area. Next, let's commit the newly added file. Type git commit hyphen yum within quotes added friends.html. Next, we have to synchronize the local repository with the main remote repository. Type git push origin master. Remember that we didn't add remote to this local repository. So here we are using the default remote name origin. Now press enter. Type the GitHub username and password of the user too. It throws an error which says failed to push. Also it shows the reason for the error. The remote contains work that you do not have locally. Remember that the user 1 has pushed a commit earlier. But user 2 does not have the work of user 1 in its local repository. It also gives a suggestion to run git pull command to rectify the error. So first we have to pull down the work of user 1 and incorporate it into the user 2's local repository. Let's do it now. Type git pull origin master. First it will fetch the data from remote repository, then merge it with the local repository. So it opens an editor to give a message for merging. Let's keep the same message and close the editor by pressing Ctrl X. Now again we will try to push the data. Type git push origin master. Give the username and password of user 2. You can see that we could successfully push the data now. Next, let us check the GitHub repository to see whether our changes are updated. Switch back to the GitHub repository. Click on the repository name Stories. You can see that the file friends.html is now added to the repository. Let's check the commit list now. You can see that the commit of user 2 is also listed here. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned what is remote repository and how to synchronize data to the remote repository. As an assignment, create one more user named user3, clone data for user3, Start working on the local repository of user 3 and try to push data from user 3. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates to those who pass online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT. MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the following link. This is Priya from IIT Bombay. Thanks for joining.